It's match number 22 of the Wolf, or oh, number two of the Wolf 777 News LPL. Hello and welcome to the R. Premadasa Stadium in Colombo, Sri Lanka, where the Dumbulla Giants are taking on the Candy Warriors. A little bit earlier on, it was the Giants who won the toss, and Captain Dasun Shanaka decided that they would bat first. Alongside me, former Pakistan batter Amir Sahail and Sri Lankan batsman Russell Arnold. Amir, the two teams. Yeah, both sides, uh, they got quality players, impact players, and also players who could uh, actually change the course of the game. So, we're hoping for a humdunger of a contest here. Vishan Jayaratna, he's going to use the new ball for the Candy Warriors. But um, interesting decision though, I would have thought uh, fresh pitch, 80 overs due today, it's not going to change uh, too much in that uh, period. But since it's a day game, Dasun Shanaka realizing it's, gonna, it's not going to have too much of an effect. Dew is not going to play a part. So hopefully it slows down through the 40 overs of this game. If you have spinners of that quality, Imran Tahir and Ramesh Mendes, Runs on the board can really grind the opposition. Here's Jayaratna. Runs immediately. A boundary to start the innings. That'll be four. There's plenty of pace there, but Salt is going to have a flip at it. Oh, wow. How about that to open proceedings with a big boundary? That's massive. That went quicker than it came. And he read the game well because the previous one was short. It went for four. Lairu Kumara is going to pitch it up. And guess what? He didn't middle it. Just little medium paces. And he'll mix and match. That's hit firmly down the ground. Don't bother running. Salt's in the mood. All the way you bet it is oh that's what we call responding to captain's call won the toss and both these batsmen are turning it on shot brilliant brilliant that's four Middle and four, a boundary to start the over, a boundary to end the over. Full Salt is racing along here. It's five gone, 62 without loss. 62 off five. Full toss from Gunaratna, and that's put away again by Nirishan Dikwella. Again, yeah, Dikwella with the sweep. He's played it nicely too and found the gap. Second time in the over. Salt comes down and swings hard and finds relatively near the middle of the bat. What a brilliant shot. Look at that. Eyes on the ball. Right in the middle of the bat. Over mid -wicket. Magnificent. He's certainly having his dancing shoes on. The response is to go shorter, but Salt just picks him up off the back foot. That is pure timing, and that is a half century for the Englishman. Just 21 deliveries. Massive six over mid wicket again. Come on, man. 52 of 21 balls. Sixers and fours reigning. Here's Kumara. Oh, Dick Weller goes down for the lap. Plays it well. Fine enough. One bounce for a four. Oh, that's going to be out. Bit of luck, I think, though, for the Candy Warriors. It was a slow, loopy full toss. No timing at all from Dick Weller. Just one man in the circle on the leg side, and he picked him out. Not the most frightening delivery for a wicket, but still, it's important that they get wickets, and they have got one. The breakthrough that they desperately wanted. Niroshan Dick Weller out for 37. In quick time, that is. 
It's 97 for one. That's it. Shot. Drilled. On, Absolutely drilled by Saheb Maksud. Wow. Hammered. Again, wide outside the off stump. Too wide. Easy runs on that occasion for Salt. Slog sweep. Nailed once more. This is some innings from Phil Salt. So by Norway slogging. He's picking his spots and he's going over the top. He's been devastating with the bat. Oh, that's gone straight up. Chance for the bowler. Alamin Hussain takes it. Big wicket. They needed that. And he waves him goodbye. Again, another slower one. Deceived by the pace, but he's done his bit. He's made 64 of 27. I'm sure Alamin would have had his heart in his mouth till he held on to it. And look at that celebration. Look at that celebration. Oh, it's a it's relief all round. So Salt, Phil Salt goes for 64. It is 114 for two. Long on, long on gets underneath it. They continue to pick up wickets and that will make them breathe easier. Columba Gay strikes. This one he's tried to hit for six, unlike the previous delivery where he's tried to skip it off the surface away for four, and he didn't get it. It's been a tough evening or a tough afternoon for Colin Barge, but he does get a wicket. It's that of Soab Maksud. He goes for 11, it's 120 for three. Basun Chanaka. He slammed it for six. Big boundaries here at the Art Premadasa Stadium, but this one, it's into the stands. Hammer down the ground. Long on. We'll watch that go over. Good hit, Basun Chanaka. That's why he wants the strike. No big foot movement, just a shimmy to the pitch. And away it goes. Middle. Will he use his pace against Sacha? Oh, edge gone. That was brave, using his feet, but only succeeds in nicking that through. He was also charging, wasn't he? Big, big nick. So 143 for four. Elvis goes for six, 143 for four. Edge taken. This one he's trying to work away on the leg side. It finds a thick outside edge. There's two men behind point on the offside. Powell does get a wicket, an important one. Captain goes, Dustin Sharnika for 24, 152 for five. Slower ball, up and over goes Najibullah and picks out the man on the boundary who almost overruns that. Najibullah Zadran giving it a kitchen sink. Go over the extra cover fielder. Oh, stuck on his left hand. It's not the strongest hand, it's naturally right armor. Zadran. It's gone for the Giants, 158 for six. Zadran made two of five. He's hit that well, but he's picked out the man on the long off boundary. We're in a very good position. But kept on hitting the ball straight to the fielders. Kept on losing wickets and the chances of getting to 200 getting lesser and lesser only seven runs from uh, Fernando and it's 166 for seven oh and that's nicely done nicely done much needed boundary for the Giants full toss easy pickings this time spoke too early six runs flat hit by Ramesh Mendes 
That's Ramesh Mendes. Last ball. That has gone high. Is it handsome? It is. Long way back. What a way to finish. Perfect length to employ that stroke. They have finished off very strongly, the Giants, through Ramesh Mendes. And so 191 is what is needed by the Candy Warriors. It's going to be a difficult chase, not impossible. The surface is a good one, the outfield is quick, and the ball seems to fly forever here in Colombo. Oh, Karuna Ratne. Should ball with a big heart. Plenty of runs on the board to defend. Sent back, there is a slip in place. Oh, that's a shot. And again, four more. How about that? That is a full swing. And it's going to just make it over. A little 9-9. Nine -nine. Oh, my word. Catch this. It's high. It's high. It's high. It's out. That went very, very high indeed. That was a slower one. And look at Sasha de Alves. He had to cover a fair bit of ground. And did quite well. He did quite well. Yeah, good catch. An important one. And first wicket's down. Luis goes for 17. 23 for one. Got him. Beautifully bowled. The wrong one. Brilliant. Again, the wrong one. Yeah, Asalaka was picking him. Not Thomas. Only two. From the bat of Devon Thompson, 28 for two. Ramesh Mendes. Lighting the ball. Hit in the air and taken. What a catch. What a catch. inside the first six overs. Asalanka choosing to try and get on with it. That's a lovely catch. Running away from deep mid-off. Diving, sprawling to his right-hand side. He's such a competitor, Karuna Ratna. And Asalanka has to go for five. They're in trouble. 28 for three. down the ground it's a better strike it will land one bounce and four and that's four more good over 12 off it 43 for three shot again this time coming to Mendes finding that gap in the covers coming to Mendes someone that who's very good against off spin Oh, lovely hit, lovely hit. No one in the deep. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's gone all the way. Sign of real class, that. Yeah. Stumping chance. Nirushan Dikwella. Quick hands. Ramesh Mendes does the job as well. Third ump have been called by Ravindra Vimal Siri. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yeah, Chris is there. I'm satisfied. Good is outside the foreign face. I'm ready to make my decision. It's on the giant screen. Out. As expected, took a while to give that. But it was a really clever bit of bowling by Ramesh Mendes. Just held the pace back. Kamindu Mendes gone for 17 off 18 balls. It's now 70 for four. Another one. Runs past it, Angelo Pereira. Fantastic bit of keeping again by Niroshan Dikpala. Been out of the scene for a while. It doesn't seem like Ramesh Mendes continues good form. 
And that could be a hammer blow for the Candy Warriors. Two wickets in the over, and the skipper is gone for 24 off 22. This innings subsiding, 71 for five. Well, he didn't miss out there, Nuan Pradeep. Off cutter from Nuan Pradeep. Probably there to hit for Gunaratna. But he just didn't get his timing right. So that's another wicket to fall. And this total getting further and further away for the Candy Warriors. Gunaratna gone for seven or 13 balls. 88 for six. Hit high, six. Cross seam, one bounce for four. This time, Rothman Powell goes over the offside. He gets some width, he throws his hands at that, and that has cleared the boundary comfortably, so he's gone six. So that was wide, that was a wide half volley. And really went hard. Look at the distance, way over the boundary for six. And it landed somewhere in the stands. That's six. That was tossed up. Powell using all his power. You know what, though? He didn't middle this at all. That was just pure muscle right off the bottom of the bat. Such a big, strong man, though. He still cleared the long on considerably. Another one. It's another one. Six more. Back to back. Powell was careful, but the moment he's bowling it away, he, he's taken the freedom of swinging those hands through and he backs his power. Backs his power Come on, Come on, to hit it over the line. More runs, more runs with four. This is the end. This is the end, the old commentator's curse. And Powell is gone. Yeah, definitely. Slow ball. Bouncer and Chami Karanatna. Not going to miss that. Elated experience for you. Nuan Pradeep. Been in the system for a long time. Roman Powell. The man gone for 42. Warriors, 1, 2, 8 for 6. In the air. End the gap and four runs. That's a hefty blow. Oh, that's a hefty blow. It's going to clear everything into the stands. What a six. Right in the hitting zone. Nishan Jarad, as I mentioned before, can put that. Again, the parrot. Oh, that's what we're after. That is what we're after. That's the effort, and it's rewarded. That is spectacular. Talk about athleticism. Talk about keeping the eyes on the ball. Everything combined. And that dive at the last moment. He was airborne when he took that one. Spectacular and a stunning catch. Nuno de Fernando, the man. Shanjaratna gone for 18. Warriors 159 for 8. He won't catch that. No chance. He gave it a go. <laughs> it just hit too well. Fantastic shot by Sachin Kulumba again. Dasun Shanaka going for some runs. Already 41. Man, man Numani Di Fernando again giving that top effort 100%. A swing and a miss, a half appeal from backward point and cover. The umpire's not interested. That's the end of the game. The Giants win by 20 runs. A wonderful batting performance, but I tell you what, the Warriors made a fist of it. Well, the Dumbulla Giants, they won the toss and decided that they would bat first. 
190 for seven and we were richly entertained salt 64 of just 27 deliveries he was well supported by dick vela 37 of 23 deliveries kumara bowled with pace but he was a little bit expensive three for 24 al amin hussein from bangladesh two for 36 in his four but again as i mentioned a little bit earlier the seamers are coming in for a pounding in reply the candy warriors 170 for eight the dambula giants won by 20 runs Glory of the nation.